Welcome to another systems edition of NCIX Tech Tips. Today we have a compact and yet enthusiast class gaming machine that's suitable not only for gaming, but also for some pretty mid-range video editing. And we should have put the screws on this before we just went and started the intro. The side panel just about came off. We're not gonna take that off until later. It all starts on the outside. This is the AeroCool DS Cubed, which as you may or may not have guessed, is sort of a cube case. In fact, it looks pretty similar to something like a BitPhoenix Prodigy, but because it accommodates a mini ATX motherboard, or micro ATX, I guess is actually the correct term, although it kind of gets used interchangeably, micro ATX motherboard, it is a little bit on the larger side, so you get a couple of extra things here. So number one at the front, rather than just a five and a quarter inch bay, you get a five and a quarter inch and a three and a half inch bay. You've also got some ventilation at the front to go along with the sexy little Aero Cool logo at the bottom. So these ventilation holes here allow for air to come into that 200 millimeter fan that's on the inside. When we move up to the top, we see that those ventilation holes along the sides here do continue, although we might not need them as much here because the entire top is a cleanable mesh filter that can be removed just like that and reveals two 120 millimeter exhaust fans or 140 millimeter fans. It should be noted that these were added. These are BitPhoenix LED fans that contribute to the internal lighting scheme. Also on the top, we have two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, a headphone jack, a microphone jack, a power button, and a reset button to go along with all of the usual LEDs. On the right hand side, we find a blank side panel. On the left hand side, ah yes, we find a windowed side panel that gives us a really nice look at the GTX 780 gaming card inside, and there's also some LED lighting effects above the window that look pretty nice as well. At the back, we find a few things, either a 120 or 140 millimeter fan mount, two little water cooling grommet things that look barely big enough for a three, three eighths inch thin wall tubing, but nobody uses these things anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. We've also got I.O. provided by our MATX MSI gaming motherboard, a PS2 port. Um, we've got two USB 2.0 ports, six USB 3.0 ports, gigabit ethernet, optical audio out, HDMI display port, and another HDMI, that is dual HDMI, and 7.1 audio. We've also got our power supply, and then over here on the back of the 780 gaming, we find out why it is called the DS Cubed, because unlike the 3DS, it actually has more displays. It can support three displays in 3D and an auxiliary display because it's got an NVIDIA graphics card. DS cubed. No trademark because that's not what we're talking about here. It's a computer. And now it's time to open this bad boy up. So we're going to start with this side panel that we sort of hinted that opened before. I mean, it should be obvious. It's a computer. It has to open at some point. Or how would you even put stuff inside it anyway? So inside on this side, we find a couple of things. Number one is that GTX 780 gaming graphics card. So that it is a factory overclocked, dual fan cooled, extremely thick heat pipe cooled, and extremely sexy looking graphics card. We also find a Seasonic 650 watt power supply. This is an 80 plus gold power supply with a modular interface so you're going to be able to make sure that your cable management is as tidy as it can be inside your case. The last thing we find is, and this might seem a little bit weird to you guys in a $2,000 gaming system, a 128 gig Plexter M5 Pro. So that is a premium but smaller SSD than you might normally see used in a system of this caliber, and a two terabyte Seagate SSHD. Now the reasoning for this, and of course guys, remember NCIX PC systems are always fully customizable, so you can put in whatever drives you want, but the reasoning for this was that with many new games coming out having installs that are as large as like 20 gigs, even if you were to double that SSD size, which would be typical in this price range, you would still be filling it up extremely quickly. So the NCIX PC artisans, that is to say the crazy Russian figured, well, you know what, let's go with a faster, smaller SSD, and then let's throw a two terabyte SSHD in there so that you can get some acceleration on your most frequently used files. So like that game that you've been playing all week will load more quickly off of the integrated small SSD on that hard drive, and then everything else, well, you've got two terabytes of storage for that. So it's a very interesting approach, one that you may or may not choose to stick with.
Next up on the other side, we have a 4770K cooled by, of course, our Hydro H60, as well as an MSI Z87M Gaming with enhanced sound and networking. So it's got killer networking as well as creative sound on board. You've also got, yes, 16 gigs of Patriot DDR3 and uh, Windows 8.1. I never actually mention when I do these spec lists that Windows is included. It's kind of funny because I... Uh, you know, probably probably should, but there you go. You can, the, the problem is that you can't see it and I never have a hint. Okay, anyway. On the other side here, we also get access to the two two and a half inch drive cages that are available for expansion. And we can see where all of the cable management is done in this particular chassis. The last thing to note, guys, is that this system does feature Subtle Glow TM lighting with BitPhoenix lighting supply. Which is to say that instead of having the largest LED strips that could have possibly fit in the system and just like blinging it out to balls to the walls, there's a couple LED fans added and then just a small six inch LED strip at the top to give it that subtle glow effect. And all of that leads us to the whole value add thing. Okay, yes, it's a $2,000 system, but you can of course customize it in any way you want. You can drop a hundred bucks by throwing in a 4670K just like that. You can go with 8 gigs of RAM, save yourself another 80, 90 bucks, all those kinds of things. But bear in mind that the configuration right here and actually a lot of the other configs, you just got to make sure you don't change any of the parts that change what it comes with. This config comes with Rome 2 Total War or Total War Rome 2 or whatever they're going to call it. Please don't sue us. Uh, Batman Arkham Origins, Assassin's Creed 4 and a Splinter Cell Blacklist. And like all NCIX PC systems, the Warranty is one year and the support is never outsourced. So that's all good. That's such a sweet deal. It's basically like candy. Please don't sue us. I've, I've been uh, very nicely asked to clarify that any resemblance to registered trademarks and copyrights and other brands was uh, strictly um, uh, parody and fair use. And um, this system is not made by Calvin Klein or any game makers or anything like that. And I've also been asked to tell you guys not to forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from NCIX.com.